guys, it's Mary Ellen and Bumble. Bumble is dirty. She's been in the yard running around. Come on, don't you want to show everybody you? There you go. Just stand on the desk. <laughs> there she is, the star of the show. All right, come here, baby. Come here. Um, anyway, today I'm doing a special kind of video. So uh, we're in hard times right now. No doubt about it. There's a lot of people who are unemployed. The unemployment rate has skyrocketed out of control. There's a lot of people who are um, just temporarily laid off until their office starts up again or their work starts up again. But the problem is like a lot of people are not getting paid right now. I had a request from someone to make a video on how to do a spread without using any stickers, how to do like a spread when times are hard and you might not have a lot of products to use. So that's what I'm doing today. Just gonna show you different ways you can, well not show you different ways, I'm gonna show you one way because I'm only doing one spread. But the first thing I thought I would do is take a paper bag. This is a Michaels paper bag because let's face it, I do a lot of uh, craft store shopping. However, not recently because I haven't left the house in a really long freaking time. Anyway, what I thought I would do is take this bag. I don't know how this is gonna work, but I thought I would take it and rip it up into little pieces. And then I found this pink tissue paper that I had in my wrapping paper box because most of us will have either wrapping paper or tissue laying around. And I thought I would rip that up as well and make like a little collage and then um, do some other stuff. So we'll see how it goes. So I'm gonna get this dog off my lap because I can't rip up paper bags with her here. So get her out of the way. And now let's get started ripping. Okay, so now I have a big mess. So now what are we gonna do with it? Well, I'm not sure, but it's pretty. Like I like the color combo. <laughs> so let's just see what we can come up with. I think what I'm gonna do is maybe, now I doubled up on this tissue because it's so see-through. Well, it's not too bad, but I feel like doubling up on it would make it pinker. So I'm going to, just glue a bunch down, probably just at the bottom of the page here. And I, I have no idea. I have no idea what I'm doing or how this is gonna look, but let's just try it and see how it looks. <laughs> it might be a big fail. It might be, but I just wanna show you that you can use other things in your planner besides stickers. It's not all about the stickers. Now, granted, if we're planners, like we love stickers you know that we do, it is part of our DNA, but we don't always have to use the stickers, you guys. You can, I know that everybody pretty much has stickers, but if you don't have a lot of stickers, you can conserve your stickers by doing other stuff like this. So that's what I'm just trying to do today, just something a little bit different to help people out who might be struggling right now. So I'm just putting them down. It's okay that the glue doesn't go like all the way. In fact, it's best that the glue doesn't go all over the whole entire thing. That's why I'm using the mono adhesive roller because then parts of it'll stick up and I really kind of like that look. So that's why I'm doing it that way. Make sure if you're doubling it up that you um, do it on both pieces. Otherwise, the other one won't stick. Okay, so that's one side. It's kind of cool. Um, I don't know if I should maybe like trim it to just fit inside this area or I should sort of leave it like that. But let's do the other side and then we'll decide. I 
think it's interesting. I like being interesting in my planner. Whether or not I like it is another story. Um, I do like being interesting and different. So this is doing the job. Um, it's going to be challenging not to use boxes because that's my go-to. I always want to use boxes. I think I need to cover up those little peach lines up there that are still showing. Um, unless I... Well, even if I decide to cut it, I still need to cover those up. So let's do that. Add a little bit of pink. All right. Now, do I want to cut it or not to fit the box? Maybe I'll decorate the rest of the page and then decide. I think I do, but let's, let's wait. Okay, so now that that's down, we can work on some other things on the page. Now, I can make, oh, I forgot that part there. I'll, let me put a little something there just to cover that up. All right. So... I think what I wanna do is bring in some washi tape. I think most of us do have washi and washi lasts a lot longer than stickers, obviously. So that's why I'm kind of thinking that that would be a good idea to bring some in. So why don't we continue in this color combo and do like a pink. Uh, I don't really have any brown. I don't think I have like craft paper type washi. Although I could cut the bag, I could cut the bag to make washi, washi strip. And then, let me see. Um, let me just get this part off. So why don't I try that and just see what happens. I will take this and just make a strip or two. So you can do this um, with anything you have laying around the house, like literally anything. I wanted to use newspaper, but I didn't have any newspaper available. That's not straight, is it? No. Um, I didn't have any newspaper. And if I did, I would have used that because I think that that is, wait, I'm sorry. I'm trying to think and do this at the same time. I think that that look is really cool and it's something that pretty much everybody has around the house or used to, but not everybody uses new newspapers anymore. I know I don't, so, so um, yeah. Or like books, you can rip up old books that you don't need anymore. It's like upcycling stuff, you know what I mean? Use what you got. If you've got pretty stickers, use them. If you don't have pretty stickers, improvise and do something else. It's just, you know, use your imagination and create. You can paint on the page. You can um, use like old letters people have written to you. You can use greeting cards. Just use what you've got. And, and then it'll be cute. It'll be, it'll be unique. It'll be very unique. It'll be cute and it's free. Um, this won't work on it, it's too thick. So I'll just use, I have a glue pen. All this stuff is in the description box on my Amazon shop if you're ever wanting to purchase anything like this. I'd appreciate it if you'd use my link and then anything you purchase after that, after using my link is, um, I get a very small percentage of it. So every little bit helps. So, whoops, that's not all the way to the end. So if you wouldn't mind doing that when you're buying supplies, um, I would appreciate it especially now since, since I'm out of work. So, 
there's that. Um, there we go. So when you don't have washi, just make your own washi. It's as easy as that. And if you don't have a paper trimmer, that's okay too. You can just use scissors. But the paper trimmer makes it a little bit more accurate. However, obviously I did not do well. Let's see about, let's try that. I think it might be too thick. Oh, it's about the same. Okay. Voila, paper bag washi. I realize it's thicker on this side, but that's okay. We're gonna use a pink washi tape next to it. Maybe I can like kind of disguise the fact that that's thicker. Okay, what washi should we use? This is really pretty. I don't know if this is Happy Planner brand, I think so. Ooh, that's pretty. That's a possibility. It's a little bit busy, but let's see what else we got here. We have this one. It's a little too pink, I think. I kind of think this is pretty interesting with the combination of the florals and the, the ripped paper. So let's go with this, except I think I might want to cut it. It's a little too thick. Thick. All right. Thick with a C. With two Cs. Okay. So let's cut this. Obviously I've cut washi on here recently in one of my big plan with me videos. Let's try it now. And you just wanna line the washi up with the lines on your paper trimmer. That'll get it pr pretty exact. And now since I'm using it on both sides, hopefully it's kind of even. It may not be, it's not. I sort of like this thickness better than this thin, because I want it to be a little bit thicker than the paper bag washi, so, whoops. It's tangled. Stop it. All right. So this is just a little bit thicker than that. Not much, but a little bit. Let's trim this down. Okay. So since the other side was thinner, I'm gonna do it again with the same washi. I'm gonna put it exactly on the line like it did before, and that's gonna give me the same exact thickness of that washi. If you don't trim your washi, you're missing out because it's like having more than one washi tape of the same kind, you know what I mean? It's helpful. So since this was a little thicker than that, I'm gonna overlap it slightly to make it look like it's the same. Just one other way you can fix your mistakes. Okay, so that's cute. I think that's cute, but I'm kind of not liking down here how it's all out of control. So I think I want to control it. So let's try cutting it. I don't know if this is gonna be easy or not. Okay, so I tried to cut it to the best of my ability, but I ran into some glue issues down here 
and I cut too much up here, but it's not too bad. I'm gonna fill up that tiny little space there with something pink. I don't love this, but I'm kind of, the, the washi, the pink washi up here is throwing me off. It's like not the right color. Do you agree, Allie? Yeah. It's too like salmon or... Yeah. You know what I mean? That didn't really you help. You need like a lighter pink. Can I look to see if you have one? Yes. It didn't really solve that issue, but I'm leaving it alone for now. Like, I just don't have the right color. But do you like how I used paper bags for washi tape? Mm -hmm. Oh, what if you... Oh, wait, you did? Yeah, oh I, my gosh, I, didn't even I made paper bag washi. What if you use something, maybe not this one, because I don't know if I like this one, but where it has the gold, so it kind of goes with the... Mm, that's kind of cool. Maybe? Maybe. Oh. But it's kind of peachy. I know. All that work to cut this washi tape down, and now I'm not using it. Story of my life. Let me just clean up my area. There's scraps everywhere. I could do this later, but I'll just subject you guys to it. I've got, I've got picked these out. Oh, the polka dot one's cute. I don't think the, the glitter matches. I don't know if it's weird that's glittery. And then there's this one, because it matches the brown. And then this is hella beautiful. Mm. Are you going in my other stash? Oh, yeah. I didn't even look in that stash. I kind of like the idea of the glitter. It's sort of like... It adds a little... I don't know. I mean, it's a perfect color. That's why I like it. Yeah. That's really well. well. I don't think think these are not... I don't like that. They're like peach. Yeah. That's, that's, that's not bad. It's not bad either. Like... It's, I don't... This might be too... You, you need to cut it in half. It's too thick. Is that what you're thinking? No. But... Too peat, uh, orangey? Yeah. Yeah. I think I like the polka dot. Okay. And it's also like it goes with the whole like... Simple listing. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I was going to say. Yeah. Oh, this feels like it's like too sticky. It's going to like rip my page. Wow. Oh, that's actually cute though. Ooh, I kind of like that. I know. Would you have to do that on both sides though? Slash, would it be weird? If it's well, it would sides? be weird if I didn't. Um, get you some also, of the sticky off. I don't know if this would work. You could keep that up there and then add this this down here. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if that'd be too much. Or I could add that down there. Although, look. Too much pink. No, this doesn't. It's too long. Oh, it goes to beautiful. Oh, beautiful. Low, beautiful. <laughs> Low, beautiful. How you doing? I feel like that's not... That'll bother you. I don't know. But that'll be the same on top and bottom. I know, you're right. Let's see. I kind of like it there. I like how it fits perfectly. It does. And the color is like perfect. Mm -hmm. oh, I messed it up. All right, let's try it. That's cute. I like it. Don't ask me where I got this washi tape because I honestly don't remember. I probably got it a long time ago when I was into buying washi and I bought like 5,000 rolls and then I realized that I should not have bought, bought that much washi that I'm never gonna use it all as long as I live, so. All right, I'm gonna put this down. Now, if you have a lot of plans, like if you're super busy, this, ob this obviously probably isn't gonna work for you, but you don't have to cover up a whole section. You can just like use it in different ways around your page, you can rip things up, do it with however you want. For me, um, you know, we are in quarantine, so there is not a lot. Do I want to put it down here like Ali said? I don't think so because it's like uneven. Um, there's not a lot going on, obviously. So I don't have a lot to put 
in my planner, although this is my wellness journal and I don't really need a lot of room in my wellness journal anyway because it's like a journaling thing. But if you have tons of plans and stuff, then this situation here might not work for you. But like, I'm just giving you ideas. So how am I gonna do this? Hello, beauty. Hello, beauty or low be beautiful. Or beautiful hell. <laughs> no, probably not that. Should I do hello? Hello, beauty. Beauty. Hello, beauty. I think I want to do. Oh, no, you know what you should do? You you do it so that it kind of keeps going. Do you know what I'm saying? Right. So I can just match up where that hell is. Okay. Does that really make sense? Yeah. I mean, not that anyone will see what it... Look, oh, then, hello, Butte. <laughs> People say that, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> no. I don't believe they do. Hello, Butte. It's better than... I don't know. Uh -huh. I think I need to sharpen this. Or do, I mean, I use a new, I not sharpen new it. downstairs, maybe. All right. Oh no. This is really sticky washi tape. Okay. That's cute though. That's cute. I like it. Except like I wish this was pinker at the top, but now I have to figure out what I'm gonna do with the rest of the spread because like I said, um I'm trying not to use stickers. Although maybe I don't need to do anything for the rest of the spread. I think I need to cover this peach line up with like pink washi, skinny washi. If I have any that's oh, gonna oh. like, uh, no, it's the wrong color. Um, because I feel as though the peach mm -hmm. is not working for me. This here we go. Although it's gonna be pinker than what's up here, so a clash. I don't know. Where's the beginning? Where's the beginning? Can you guys relate? Ah, uh, find it for you. No. There it is. Oh, I know what I could do. Wait a minute. Um, you gotta make sure it's the right color. I know. I don't think it is. Or, well, this one might be. No, no, that's okay. not scratch paper. Here. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> this is something Allie wrote to her brother. Okay. Oh. That is the right color. Yeah. A little, little so I could make like little boxes. Oh, cute. Okay. Just to be interesting. I don't know. Should I? Yeah, go for it. Wouldn't hurt. But not in every box. No. Maybe. Or just like corner, corner, middle. I don't know. Just, or maybe just random. All right, let me get my ruler. Are you gonna make them exist? See, I, I personally. Like oh, you when think like, it's like better if I just we'll be do it freehand? I don't know. <laughs> I like the look of that because then if you like go over with. If you pen, mess up, I feel like I'm gonna mess up. Let me make a stencil. Oh, I feel like I'm gonna mess up. Or you can make it like like slanted and like squiggly kind of you know what I'm saying to make it let's practice it like if I went like this I don't know I don't, I don't know <laughs> or like it's more work this way but although here I have lines I don't have lines on the paper I need my clear ruler. Oh, see, I made like skinny fat, but. What if you do something? Oh, wait, this is too light. But you know what I mean? And then. Oh, yeah. But with brown. I don't know if that'd be too much. Where's the. This video is getting long. I apologize. Because I'm here. They're always long when it involves me. I know. Me. It's Allie's fault. Too dark. All right. 
<laughs> well, these aren't all my colored pencils over here. What about a brown pen? No, I want to do colored pencils. Can you get my box of pencils? Mm -hmm. Well, I think they're, no, never mind. <laughs> How about this oh, one? That one looks better. Just like, don't draw too hard. Yeah, look, that's nice. That would be kind of cool. Um, do I do like exact? I Can you no. see if you can find my clear ruler? Yeah. Well, here, this is clear. Okay. So I shouldn't. I just think exact is going to get it messed up. And, well, but I think it, it might look cool if it's like exact for this part. And then squiggly for... Oh, I get what you're saying. Don't you have like a stencil at all? Oh, I might. Wait. I don't know where they are. Let's shut off the camera while we discuss. <laughs> so Allie had an awesome idea. That's why I have her live with me. Because she's awesome. That's why. <laughs> That's the only reason, no. Um, so she decided it would be a good idea to have some sort of stencil. And I gave away my stencils, actually, <laughs> my my rectangle stencils, so I don't have any. So she said, why don't you take an old sticker book where you've pulled off the sticker, cut it out, and then you can trace around it. So that is what I'm gonna do. So if you don't have a colorful boxes sticker book, you can use any sticker book that has boxes in it. So I'm going to take an exacto. <laughs> Excuse me. Ignore that. That was for my son. <laughs> okay. I'm going to trim the plastic part on the inside. So I'll take that. Uh oh. Well, might not Close be enough. exact. So I'm going to take this layer out. And then it's a DIY stencil. Yes. Hopefully it'll work. Well, that actually, that actually looks like a little Polaroid picture. That would be a cute thing to do one time. I have, yeah. You know what I mean, though? Yeah, I have done that like, like once, that, but yeah. not like with the whole like spread or anything. Okay. There, stencil. So now we have a little DIY stencil. And let's see if it works. Fingers crossed. <laughs> it might not. It's a little flimsy. Do you want to try it first? Yeah, probably that's a good idea. You could tape it with a washi tape if you need to. Look at that. Good enough. Thank you, Allie. <laughs> yeah. She's so creative. She is more creative than I am. Definitely not. Yes. I feel like I want to make it even on all sides so that I know exactly, oh, yeah. you know what I mean? And you know what you could do too with your washi tape that you were going to throw away? Just stick a piece on the top so it doesn't move if you need it. I don't think I need it though. Let's see. I say that and then. Oh, the truth. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, you got to do it now. Oh, no. <laughs> Maybe you make them all funky looking. <laughs> Should have used the tape. <laughs> I'm not sure. I it mean, worked really well out, here. You could white out the bottom line. I think I'm going to have to. And look what I did with the top, But though. can this go over the white out well? You know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to draw them. It's probably easier. And that's too thick. What do you think in the other one, maybe? Then I'll maybe make it even. I mean, that looks pretty good. Okay, well, that was perfect. <laughs> probably probably don't even need the damn stencil. It's not thick in the top one. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Maybe it won't show in a picture. Mm. I don't know. Maybe it'll dry better. It's showing on the video, though, isn't it? Not bad. That's not bad. All right, well, then I guess I'll keep going. really easier to freehand this than it is to draw it with a ruler work, honestly work yeah I guess because you just follow the line but not everybody has a steady hand yeah I don't I mean 
I'm good at drawing straight lines and circles. That's like my strong suit. That's thicker than the rest. No, that's okay. They're not gonna be perfect. That's why you're gonna use that the pencil and make it funky looking so that right. it's okay that they're not perfect. By the way, this is a Crayola Super Tips marker. Really cheap, really good for beginning brush lettering. Although I still suck at that's still even bigger than the rest. Wow. Um, I suck at brush lettering, but with the Crayola Super Tips, it's easier than like some of the real brush lettering pens. So those are always in my Amazon store if you want to check those out. And this is a really pretty color that really does match the rest of the spreads, mm -hmm. so that makes me happy. You do your lines like really nice. I have a talent for drawing straight lines. Yeah. <laughs> Much straighter than when I use a ruler. But I think you probably have the same talent, Allie. I don't think so. And this one, they're getting bigger and bigger as I go. Getting excited for the weekend. Yeah. That was cute <laughs> Like, though. that side looks good. That's, that Mom, looks... Just ignore it. No, right. no going back. No going back. All right, so now let's take that brown pencil and it's upside down. <laughs> Oops. Let's take the brown pencil and first practice and see, kind of do like a, this thing mm -hmm. like that. Yeah, but like mix them up for all of them, you know what I mean? So like, it's some, always in a, yeah, some start there, some start on the outside. And like make it messy? Yeah. I don't know. Because the bottom's messy, kind of, like a messy feel. I don't, don't ask me. Or should I just leave it like this? I don't know. Ah. Uh. I like the idea of the brown. I just don't know if that's gonna to be too busy for you with all your writing. That's what I'm wondering. I'm thinking I'm gonna leave it like this because I like matter. simplicity. Yeah, I'm not sure. I don't know. Or you could, no. Or you could just do, may I? A line like this, like if you have, where's your marker? Oh, like if you have your box, like so. You're really bad at drawing straight lines. That sarcasm? Yes. Oh. <laughs> well, that was just luck. Um, you could just do like, you know, something like that. Oh, that's cute. Or like, oh, or or like. Okay, that's me not trying. You know. Or or right with just like two of them, if you want. Like if you want to add. Brown. Yeah, I have done that before, or done like this where like a whole piece of tape yeah, although it doesn't be... really go over the marker very well that's the only problem mm. um if you do that i would do two of them i could also do like a very thin line Even one? Oh, on yeah, the inside nice. or i could do a thin line no, I don't like tracing the, the outside i don't like it on the outside unless mm, no or i could do because you need inside and inside outside. and yeah. outside see that i'd like really I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I'm getting nervous. Um, or you could do just... I think maybe I like the inside and outside one. You can also just do an L like it's... Well, that doesn't look as good. But like it's... um Like a shadow. A shadow. There's too many options. <laughs> this is why we need to do it on a live video. First, I need to sharpen this, I think. Okay, I forgot to set my phone on airplane mode. Ah, but... All you missed was I did trace these with the brown pencil. I used a Prismacolor in light umber. So I think it looks really, really good. I'm glad I did it this way. I think it makes the boxes pop. And I think the colors are really pretty together. And I'm really proud of myself that I did a whole spread without using any stickers. I didn't think I, well, I knew I could do it. I just didn't think it would look as good as this. It looks really, really good. I'm really pleased with it. So let me know in the comments down below what you think. And if you are struggling financially right now, I just want you to know that I really feel for you and my heart goes out to you and I hope things get better for all of us really, really soon. I know we've got probably at least another month of this, but I'm really hoping things change and we get back to normal and all that. So Anyway, stay tuned for more videos from me. Check them out. There'll be a video coming out tomorrow, of course. And I love you guys. Take care. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.